Hello once again everybody, this is Jack the Lad, Sussex Radio presenter and very proud Rivervale Leasing Ambassador. Uh, you join me here at Rivervale House in Brighton for another little video. I'm going to take you for a spin in another car today and give you sort of my take on it in a very much non-technical way because I don't know about car jargon. I do know that today I'm excited because I finally get to drive a Tesla. Now I've not been in one of these before, never even sat in one, let alone driven one, but I'm excited because I think when the Tesla launched, there was sort of nothing really like it out there on the market. This is the Tesla Model S. I've been told it's very, very quick. My immediate impressions from the outside are that it looks the nuts. I mean, it really does look good. It's the Saloon, the Model S, so it's got that sleek look about it. It's got nice chrome trim all over it, big fat alloy wheels, as you would imagine. I've had a look in the boot, which is massive. It really is a big boot. Two free sets of golf clubs in there, no bother. You get all your shopping in there and in next week's shopping as well, no bother. A lovely big boot. I haven't sat inside it yet, so I can't tell you how roomy that is, but from the outside, it looks great. And it's got little touches as well, like the door handles. It's a bit like James Bond and that, because like they're in the car and then you press a button and they go and like come out, you know what I mean? You feel like you're in a Bond film, it's wicked. So. The Tesla Model S, from the outside, it looks sweet. How does it look inside and how does it drive though? Let's get in and find out. It's a big boot, because I'm can. i five foot 10, right? I'd like to say I'm six foot, but I ain't. I can get half in here, look, man. It's a big boot. Oh, I mean, that's a big boot, huh? you know? The first thing that you cannot avoid when you get in here is the size of the screen, the touch screen. I mean, it, that's, it's almost bordering on a bit silly because it's absolutely bloody massive. It is the biggest screen I've ever seen in a car without a doubt. I've got this thing where I sometimes compare like dashboards to the size of animals and everything like that. I did it on the Mercedes EQC. This. I mean, that's the size of a stoat, a good size adult stoat, that screen. It's all touch screen, as you can imagine, but it is the biggest thing I've ever seen. I mean, it's a good foot and a half long, that thing. Um, so the screen dominates the inside of the car, which, and I must say, other than that, the rest of it's fairly simple in here. There's not too much going on in your centre console. You've got coffee cup holders for you and the passenger, and then more coffee cup holders in the front, which seems a bit like it might be a tiny bit of a waste of space. This is all full leather and leather trim, which is nice. Um, very roomy. The driving position feels nice before I've even driven it. Let's take it for a spin. I'm curious to see what it drives like because I've been assured that it's very, very fast. Uh, when this car is fully charged, it will give you 275 miles on a full charge, which isn't bad. And if you're charging it just on like a three pin plug at home, you'll be able to charge it from nothing to full in about eight or nine hours. It's so much cheaper to run than a petrol or a diesel car, so much cheaper. Um, so that's something to consider, do you know what I mean? And you know, charge it up overnight, it's gonna sort you right out and then you get to these services and you've got speed charge points and all this sort of stuff. So I don't think the fact that it's electric is a problem. I mean, they're taking over the world, aren't they? I mean, I don't think there's nothing this can do. This screen, it's, it's just staggering. I think the, the thing could probably bloody fly if, if you ask it to go underwater, like Bond's Lotus, you know? And you know the other thing? Oh, there's another Tesla over there. Hello! Uh, can we be Tesla brothers? <laughs> uh, it turns heads. My God, that is quick! Whoa! That is fast, man! Jesus! Whoa! That's in sport mode! I've got to have a go here. <laughs> I've got to do it in insane plus. That's really fast. This is like, you know, you get a new car sometimes and you, 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 there's a button or three other ones and you never use and you always say, I wonder what that does. This is like that, but on steroids. You will never use everything on this screen, I'm telling you. Are you ready? Insane plus. Whoa! Whoa! Jesus! Whoa! Whoa! Fast car! The Tesla is a fast car! Got it! When I can't fight this feeling anymore I forgot what I started 
Right, oh, that'll do. Got to concentrate. I'm trying to be professional. I've just about recovered from that punch when I put my foot down in this. I mean, I cannot believe how quick that was. You know what I mean? As I said in the car, 0 to 60, that is quicker than a Porsche 911 Turbo, and it's electric. What a car. You know what I mean? Believe the hype, because as much of a weirdo as Elon Musk is, he has built something quite extraordinary here. It's a comfortable drive as well. It's got that nice long battery life that I told you about, that nice long range and it is super, super quick. It's the first time I've ever driven a Tesla. That is a Model S, and I was beyond impressed. If you want any more details on this or any of the Tesla range, then you know what to do. Rivervaleleasing.co.uk. They'll take great care of you, as they always do here at Rivervale. Do it the right way. Do it the Rivervale way. My name is Jack the Lad, Sussex Radio presenter, and a very proud ambassador for this great company, and I'll see you again real soon. Wow.